very few people actually go into that area of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So they don't perceive that problem as a problem, even though it's impacting them, because if you if you kill the ocean, you kill you know, the oxygen-producing ecosystem of the planet and climate regulation and all of that. It's impacting you as well. So what we do is we make the problem visible. Every time you see us you know, dumping all the trash onto our boats, that is you know, when we show humans and the world, hey, actually, there is so much plastic out there. It's a big problem. And you know, we manage to pollute those very remote areas. And only think about how much plastic actually is on coastlines and in, you know, in, in, in the environment that we live in. So that is one of the benefits of doing the ocean cleanup, the open ocean cleanup. Rivers, yes. I mean, in terms of impacts to humans, Definitely the rivers have that, that the bigger impact, right? Because that's where people live. That's where you know, they are being impacted by plastic pollution. So if you take away that pollution, you help them a lot. But it's it's not a, an either or question because you are solving two different things. It's the same as saying, you know, um, shouldn't we close the tap first before we start cleaning it up? Uh, yes, if you're one person, probably you want to close the tap first. If you're only one person, you probably want to solve rivers first before you go into the ocean. But we can do all of that at the same time. And cleaning up what's ever already in the ocean, you know, is solving a problem. And it's solving a problem that already exists now. And if you do not clean it up, the plastic starts to fragment into microplastic, nanoplastic, tiny little particles. Once they are small, they are everywhere. They go into the whole ecosystem. That's very difficult, if not impossible, to clean up. In, in the rivers, you're not so much, you know, removing plastic that's already in the ocean. What you do is you start, you know, cleaning the coastlines because almost all of the plastic going from a river into the ocean stays within a relatively short distance. So it stays within those coastal ecosystems, the mangroves, the corals, the beaches, and people are interacting with that. So yes, definitely if you want to help, you know, local communities, you have to do that. And what we are really good at the ocean cleanup is we do, we tackle a global problem. Uh, and, you know, we look at it from a very holistic, uh, high level view. And at the same time, you start solving it locally. So you go into a region, you go into Jamaica, Kingston, um, Kingston Harbor, and, and you solve that, that region. And it's, you know, on maybe a global scheme of things, maybe not that significant, but actually for the people living there, it's absolutely crucial to, you know, improve the livelihoods. So, and it's a good example in Kingston, you can show that if you can solve it on that scale, if you can close the tap, so we are intercepting the plastic in the gullies. The gullies are kind of the rivers that bring the plastic into that harbor area. And at the same time, you're also removing the legacy pollution, the plastic already in the harbor area. You know, you can say, okay, see, this is, it works on a small scale. So we can also do it globally. So that is also a very good example uh, to make for, you know, to, to test out things and how would you approach that.